Good evening, one and all. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you all for coming tonight. <laughs> um, can I help you with those? Mm -hmm. Is everybody in a hurry? Go. No. <laughs> uh, how about you do those? I'll do these. What I'm going to be speaking on tonight is um, John Davis's third book. Would it be the third one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I thought this tied in and saying with the uh, <laughs> this is something I came across that I thought would tie in so we can go in to the next. <laughs> Let's go into that sacred space. Allow me to read to you. Om is a Hindu sacred sound considered the greatest of all mantras. Traditionally used in prayers, chants, and meditations professing high spiritual creativity power. It can be reached by anyone. Om is both a sound and a symbol rich in meaning and depth. When pronounced correctly, it is actually Aum. Aum is four syllables. This I learned. A, U, M, and the silent syllable. The first syllable is A, pronounced as a prolonged A. Oh. The sound starts with the back of the throat and is stretched out. A sense of feeling in the solar plexus and the chest vibrating. The next is U, pronounced as a prolonged U with the sound gradually rolling forward along the upper palate and vibrating the throat. The third symbol, M, is pronounced with a prolonged M, mm, with the front teeth gently touching, start to feel the top of the head vibrate. The last syllable is deep, silent, and of the infinite. As intelligent rises from the deep sense, merge the chant from the M to the deep, silence. Why do we chant? Everything in the universe is pulsating and vibrating with nothing standing still. The sound OM when chanted vibrates at 432 Hertz. The same vibrational frequency found throughout nature. By chanting the keynote sound of the universe we are symbolically and physically tuning in to the acknowledging of connection with all other living beings, nature, and the universe. The universal vibrations and rhythmic pronunciation also physically affect the body by slowing the nervous system and calming the mind, similar to the effects of meditation. When the mind relaxes, blood pressures decrease, and the ultimate heart health improves. Finally, chanting OM is well suited to make the beginning or the end of a yoga practice or meditation session or as respite from regular daily activity. It signifies that this is a special time to care for ourselves and practice being mindful. Everybody ready? Let's start with
Anybody read the book <coughs> twice? <laughs> twice? Oh, excuse me. Three times? <laughs> ah, excellent, Alan, excellent. I'm on my third. This is an absolute work of art, folks. Everybody should read it, practice it, be engulfed. <coughs> Everything is right here. Everything. It tells the whole story accurately and how we are going to participate in this wondrous journey here on life and then into the next. Where do we want, well, uh, where does one start with a masterpiece of something like this? Well, doesn't everybody want a copy of the Mona Lisa? I believe so. Let's get started. Who would like a copy? Why would I do that? <laughs> the spirit. The, yes, the spirit is the gift. And we won't miss anybody. There'll be more. But once you get into the book, see how many times you're going to read it and practice it. That's the key. That's the key. You will be forever and ever and ever changed. And yes, it's illustrated by Nancy Davis. Who's Nancy? Nancy Davis is the angel there, the angels waving to you. Anybody else? I know it's not the best position. Raise your hand you want to raise your hand. <laughs> That's all right. You bet. I'm always blessed in yourself. Thank you. I am. Good. We're excellent. We're glad to have you here. Thank you. I'll just keep my joke and I'll think that I'm trying to find it. The Coptic Fellowship teaches that spiritual development is obtained through the daily practice of diet, exercise, meditation, and self-mastery. The more we follow the principles of healthy living and selfless service, the higher we rise in consciousness, even to the point of God consciousness. Oh, ma'am, you're just supposed to sit back and enjoy. Oh, I'm not. Uh, this path of this book is all uh, individual self journey. That's why you have to read it probably eh, maybe the rest of your life. You know, what's the TV give you? No, this is great. I don't watch it. There you go. Neither do I. Thank God our time has come. The challenge is an adventure into God. The great God power has broken through. Humanity must have the courage and expertise to educate the youth of the world. But educate them to what? To lead them simply into the knowledge of the right human relationships are vital to a peaceful world. What's John talking about here? The next generation that we have to educate properly. People need to talk universally rather than differences in boundaries. Peace and goodwill must be talked and applied by all everywhere. How far do I want to take you with the journey? This is a personal thing that kind of developed with myself. That's why I really 
want everybody to have and practice one of these. It, it's absolutely the sun code of ethics, recognition of light in all, respect for every each and human being, respect for earth, light, and water, the respect of plants and animals, the respect of space, and all of life. John's done it. It's all right here, folks. It's all right here, and we are privileged to be there. The esoteric traditions. Down through the ages, the esoteric traditions of the mystery schools have been kept alive by individuals directed towards the evolution of mankind to achieve a higher spiritual ideal. These traditions were adopted by secret societies whose memberships boasted many high-ranking and learned members of the cultures of their time. Manly P. Hall has concluded after studying ancient records of various culture that there has existed over millennia a group of enlightened souls which works towards the goal of world democracy. What a concept. And John's put it right here before us so we can continue. When you have time, you'll read this. Really? Why not take the time to read it and then take the time to practice it, your life will absolutely change for the better. The Earth's 11th Hour is on page 137. I'm going to let you read it for yourself, and we'll go over to here, to Christ and the Buddha. As Buddha manifested light, so the Christ is the principle of love, also profess professing the qualities of the Buddha life. Christ is the personification of love and service, astonishing men, admonishing men to love one another. We are encouraged to share wisdom we have acquired. You are going to acquire so much knowledge on a different vibration level and we're all ingrained with how we are taught on this earthly plane from our grade school on up. This is going to teach you how to go to the higher realms, the frequencies that we vibrate at. We will communicate without talking at these levels. You will know, as just John said, Ahmed Bey developed in the mystery schools, he could touch you and feel you and know what you were thinking. Yes, that is possible. Our individual responsibility is to project the energies of the inner and outer sun to all people and nation in prayer and positive action. Accepting their own Christ consciousness as determined by Jesus, it must be impressed upon the true visionaries that individuals are totally responsible for their personal actions. Deeds of prior selfishness must be worked through and balanced by the law of karma. Each person is responsible for his and her own personal thoughts, words, and deeds. Be responsible to yourself. The male ego must give way to the pyramid energy of the divine earth mother and men must realize within themselves the feminine aspect of their own natures. In time, man 
kind shall become Argonas being I have a trouble oh you want to help me sure the librarian will help me Argonas androgynous beings help me which is why there are so many transgender people that are coming that are being what is an androgynous being? Either male or female. Either male or female. Thank you. With, yes, with male or female aspects perfectly balanced in their physical as well as their etheric bodies as Jesus exemplified. Here's the one that I really did. I wanted to do two colors so it would stand out for me, and I could, I could reference it. In I thought you were trying to match your shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just the, the markers that were the handy. The cosmic consciousness, will, which is masculine in understanding, which is feminine, is always in creative equilibrium. Therefore, when our will affirms accordingly to the wisdom of the understanding, when the intellect and the intuition work together, we can make no mistake in our thought creations. As discussed earlier with John Modena, this is the underlying secret of success. It's right there in print. Can you practice it, learn it, and follow it? Let us attempt in our everyday life for the years ahead with a universal, altruistic feeling and attitude. The results of these tendency in a general movement towards better human relationships and consequently greater Synops, synops, hypothesis. Mm. I blotted that one out for some. This is the learning to a wonderful new revolution, which will bring about radical and beneficial changes in human experience. New light will be given to mankind, humankind, altering our outlook and living conditions and inaugurating a new age. We are the light workers. Esoteric philosophy, the science of the soul, halts, halts the soul and therefore exalts the vision of unity. One person with courage and God are a majority. That's all you need. You may be that person becoming the light of the world. When a few other people also catch the vision of unity, it shall spread like the wings of an eagle spreading over the earth. The simple invocation that is given in the 50 shall be again in the voices of the earnest people. It shall be whispered in quiet moments of communion. O light of God, illuminate our minds. O love of God, fill our hearts. O power of God, direct our will. Let light, love, and power enlighten mankind. When a thousand people utter that daily prayer with sincerity and emotion, the momentum of light shall be virtually unstoppable. John Day. I'm going to leave you with that and read the book and practice. Thank you, John, for being here. Thank you for writing.